All right, what's going on guys? My name is Zach and today I'm gonna to talk about which is better, Canva or Figma. I'm gonna talk about them in general. I'm gonna walk you through Figma here as well as Canva. We're gonna walk through both. I'm gonna share the exact differences just overall as well as specifically for email marketing. These are super popular tools. I've used both for over five years now. I'm very skilled at using both. I know all the ins and outs of using either and there's a very specific difference between the two that I'm gonna share and I'm gonna get into all of uh, these little details between the two and I'm gonna talk about exactly who each is for. Okay, so overall, Canva is a lot more basic. It's not for hardcore graphic designers. Figma is a lot more advanced. It has a lot more advanced features. It's You can level up with it. It's for more seasoned graphic designers. So if you've used Photoshop or Illustrator before, you're gonna be feeling very comfortable with Figma. You'll be fitting right in. If you're more of a Microsoft Paint type of person or PowerPoint person, Canva is an upgrade from Microsoft PowerPoint. So they're on very different ends of the spectrum. Figma is a lot more advanced. Okay, that's the absolute biggest difference if you are just looking for something basic that'll get you some nice designs. Canva's great if you're looking for hardcore, really want beautiful emails or beautiful designs and you want them 100% custom, Figma is what you need. The two structures, Canva has files. And so these files have a single design and you can have multiple pages. So it's not very flexible on sizing versus Figma, you have a huge board of designs. You're very flexible on the sizing. So I'll explain what I'm talking about here. So in Canva, you basically, you're gonna have your your home tab and then you're gonna have projects here. And you can have essentially a project, or for example, you're gonna have a folder like this, where within each of these, within this project, you're gonna have this finished folder and you can go into here and then you can click on your email and you can see it's like a, it's like a, a PowerPoint slide where you have this, this page right here. It's a super like long and tall page and that's your email. And so you go in here you can add a page like that. You can add a page like that. You add a page and you continue adding pages like that. But you can see you can't make anything out here. There's nothing on the left or right side versus Figma is like this massive, just endless scroll of, you can have a million different designs here. You can have this on the left and right. You can have backgrounds. You can have all these this stuff to the left. You can have an email that looks just like this. And the way that you create an email within here is just you create a page that's super tall and skinny and you're gonna have this extra white space at the bottom versus if you go into Figma, you have all of this this room that you can play around with. So it's like a big board. And this big board has different pages within that board. And so you can take this email right here. And if you wanted to make another one, you can just do that. If you make another one, you can just do that. And so you can drag these guys around. It's a lot more flexible, if that makes sense. Same thing with this right here. Uh, You have all of these different pages. And so you can go to, for example, this page right here, which has all of our email campaigns, and you can go and you can see all your previous email campaigns for a particular brand, and that's what that looks like. So this is Figma, and Canva is a little bit different. And so it's a little bit more similar to PowerPoint. It's good for quick templated designs like pitch decks versus Figma is like a massive board where you have a folder, and then within that folder you have, this is an actual file, and within the file you have all of these different pages that you can see here. And then within these pages you have, this is actually, this right here is a section. So you can see it's a little bit more advanced, but it allows you to keep all these designs within this client folder. Versus if you go here, you have a folder that would be like your client name up here. And then you'd have email one, email two, email three, email four. And you can go into go into this and in order to, you would, if you wanted to duplicate this, it's a different process where you would just hit duplicate page and you would have to go into here and you would edit all of this around. But the issue is these, the sizing is way different. You can't, like all these are gonna be the same size. So you, you're you gonna have this extra white space at the bottom and you have to make it just super tall and you can't just have all different sections. Here, you can, you can have a tall email, you can have a, sh- a short email, you can have a tall email. You could take this one if you want to extend it. All you have to do is do that. Like 
this action right here you can't do in Canva whatsoever. Okay, Canva, again, more similar to PowerPoint. So if you did actually have a, let's say if you did have a PowerPoint, so if you go into, let's say, let's say templates here, you could just create this pitch deck and this is where Canva really, really shines. So you have, if you have a PowerPoint like this and you just want to um, take this kind of copy and paste your, your text into here and you just want to have something ready, just like this, you're great. It's a lot, Canva's a lot better for templates like this, where you just wanna, you don't wanna mess around with everything. You just want to add in your company logo here and your text right there. And you just wanna make a PowerPoint slide like this. This would be a lot more, if you didn't have this template, it'd be a lot, in, Can, in Figma, it'd be a lot more time consuming to make this. So if I were making a pitch deck and I wanted to create nice looking slides like the ones that I went through, you could easily just do it with Canva, a lot harder in Figma but that's what happens with Figma is that you have a lot more flexibility. So Canva is a lot easier to get started. There's more basic tools and functionality. For example, just going into here, there's a million different things that you can, that you can do within Figma. However, here you're pretty limited. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have this little kind of toolbar right there versus if you go into Figma per se, you have like everything on the this left hand side here you have stroke you have effects similar stuff but uh you have a lot of different just things options that you can do for example let's say if you wanted to take the selection color and every time that you see this yellow if you want to go in here and you want to change it to green you can just easily do that that's something that figma you can do but you can't do that you can't just easily change colors within canva so just there's more more features and more advanced kind of bells and whistles essentially with Figma. Okay, so moving along here, Figma doesn't have as many templates and elements to pull from. So you can see here in, in Canva, the good thing about it is that you have all these different things on the left-hand side. So you have your brand logos and you have your uploads and you can draw and you can go into here. But the biggest thing is that if you just wanna search for, let's say if you have different shapes or different charts or something like that, all it has a huge library of just different like shapes and like weird stuff that you can add in here that you can easily just go and change the color, grab this little clip art type, type shape here, and you can just put it into your design. So it's super quick when you're doing that. So it's not as easy to do within Figma, although they do have, if you have all these elements and you have all these things already, this is how you do it. And you, you just have this big, big like library of assets that are specific to your brand. So you just build this up over time and that's how you do it within Figma. Okay, much easier to find templates, but much better in terms of stock photos and just stock elements, easier to find that. Canva is has a nice built-in photo editor. So it's really just trying to be everything outside out of the box. So you can, if you had a background that you wanted to just instantly remove the background that's built into Canva, not built into Figma, and you can easily kind of create and manage brand kits. Again, Canva is more of a plug and play solution. You have all these templates and things on the left-hand side here that you can easily just drag and drop. And I like it a lot more for creating stuff like this, where it's just the same thing over and over. You don't want to have to find your font. You don't have a specific look and you just want to, you just want to mess around with this and you want to just go in here and quickly edit something that someone already created a template of. Figma again, is a big board that you're starting from scratch more. It's not as easy to learn and get started. However, it's way better for just making things that are more advanced, that are better designs. Things like this welcome series here, we can see all five emails at once and you can see, okay, here's email one, here's email two, here's email three, here's email four, here's email five. You can see them all in one view. You can't do that within Canva. You can't see all of these. You can't make like a big board. You can't go into here, create a rectangle and then create a line that says I'm going from here to here. And then you can't like, we like to have a little flow chart off to the left hand side there and show like how this flow is moving. And you create like a little graph on the, you can't do any of this in Canva, which is why we as email marketers and just as a business owner that has more advanced design skills. We like to use Figma a lot more. It's just more flexible. For example, there's things that you just can't do within Canva. For example, if you went into here 
and let's say this, this line right here, see how it's like one, two, three different colors. That's super easy to do within Figma, but impossible to do within Canva. Like you all in here is what you do is you just hit this pen tool, you go like that, and then you just take these guys and you can just curve this little edge and you can make this into a wavy line. And then you can just continue doing that and making these like wavy lines. You can't, you can't do that. You can't make this shape as you can see here. That's super easy to do in Figma. But if you try to go to Canva, what you have to do is, uh, you, you know, you go here and you create like a little mini line and then you have to connect. You, you, you have like this little, this little line here and then you have to like take another one and then you like line it up like this and you're gonna you're gonna have to match these up pixel perfect you can't just or you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff and it's it's annoying and you can't like just make a curvy line easily within canva so that's an example of something that's super easy to do within figma but impossible to do straight out the box and easily within canva okay adding comments and making revisions i think it's a lot easier to do within figma all you do is you press C on your keyboard, you go add your comment like this, type in your comments, add an image or mention someone or add an emoji, and then boom, there you go. It's like a super awesome system and then you can go and you can delete this later. So a lot easier to do within Figma. Um, FigJam is something that's super similar to a mural board or a lucid chart, that's within Figma prototyping features perfectly optimized for UI UX design way better. If you're a UI UX designer, don't even look any further. You need to use Figma way better for things like responsive design. And as we said, stock assets, you're going to have to go and find, you're going to have to go and scour the internet for, for this and this and this and this and this, or if you have something else, like you're going to have to pull them into your, your file like this versus Canva, you can just go and you can find your thing on the left-hand side here, take this guy, drag and drop it in and just change the color and it's done. Okay, for email marketing specifically, everything still applies. Canva for email marketing is super, I, I don't like it at all because you have to go, you have to make this, you have to just create a shape that's 600 pixels wide by 6,000 pixels tall. And you can't like, you're gonna have to have this white space at the bottom here. And if you want to create a new email design, you're going to have to create it as the same shape. So it's okay, but it's just like annoying. And for example, here to create these two different shapes, I took two different lines for this little thing here. And it was, as I said, it was super easy to do within Figma, but in Canva, you can't, can't do that. And same thing with just layering and things like that. That's a big part of what Figma has is you can have all these different layers. So you can clearly see like on let's say like right here, you have like you have this layer, this layer, this layer, this layer, this layer, all these different layers. And within each of these emails, you're gonna have all these different layers on the left-hand side, easily accessible. There are layers in Canva, but it's not as like common or prevalent. You're not using layers as much in your typical process. So that's why it's a lot more of an advanced thing is, is Figma for yeah so again email marketing for canva it's, you're gonna have to make a super tall email it is way easier to just make a beautifully designed hero image or something like that from scratch because again you have you have email templates so if you have no design skills definitely go for canva to start and you can directly integrate this with canva with clavio i don't love this feature so far honestly you can just like literally take your image slice and shoot it over to from canva to figma however you're not really optimizing it. And there's a lot of different issues with that. Like you can't, if I had this email right here, I can't just immediately shoot it over. I would have to make a whole new file where it's just the first slice up here, shoot that over using the Canva to Clavio, this feature export feature right here. Like this literally just has to export the image, the whole entire slice, which is horrible for deliverability. You don't want this really tall slice going all at once. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's good that they have this feature. I don't think it's going to help too many people though for Figma email marketing way easier because you can just take a slice of your email and you can just send it over and you can easily create more custom and unique designs. And you know, what this looks like is you just take your, take your email, you hit S on your keyboard, you go ahead and you can slice your email like this. And you can take this, this first part, export this slice and take this this guy right here, take this slice and export, 
put it into, into Klaviyo or your email software. So that entire process where I just took that slice and I eventually got this PNG right here, that entire process you can't do in Canva, but it's essential that you have it in your process. So it's super annoying. So if I was ever using Canva for email marketing, I would literally have to use Figma because you need to be able to slice up this email into like small little slices. So you have small images. It's just, it's way better to use Canva for, for things other than email marketing versus email marketing. That's the video. That's Canva versus Figma. Overall, Canva is a lot less for hardcore graphic designers and more towards people who are super new and are a lot more comfortable with something like PowerPoint. So if you know if you know PowerPoint, it's like an upgraded version of PowerPoint. Figma is like a more simple and easy to use version of Photoshop or Illustrator. So if you're if you want the features of Illustrator or Photoshop with a quicker process, go for Figma. If you're just wanting the basics, Canva definitely works. So at this point, if you're running a an e-commerce brand and you want help creating email designs within Canva or Figma, and you want either some templates or you want us to completely run your email marketing and help you increase your revenue, go to zhs-ecom.com. That's zhs-ecom.com there. Book a call, take your brand to the next level as you can see by this button here. Book a call with me so we can talk about how to increase your brand's email marketing revenue and you can also get my 242 points email and SMS marketing optimization checklist by hitting this button or the link in the description. Appreciate your time.